I kind of have the mentality that once I know I have a fight, already in my head I go, it's Mike Tyson. I'm fighting Mike Tyson or I'm fighting I Ivan Drago. So that puts me in a space to train hard. I'm just gonna train hard, that's all I can do. Success to me on its uh, simplest form, in its simplest form, is doing what you love, right? That's the whole point of this podcast, is trying to inspire people to do, or this episode, I should say, inspiring, inspiring people to do what they love. We live once, man. We live one life. Take, take your time, focus progression, cultivate killer lines, balance with aggression. Don't overdo it, be subtle with your influence. All people want is real and all that you have is you. You're listening to Daily Grind with Y'all ready to rock? I'm gonna be indulgent. In life, sometimes I feel like we overthink it. Impatiently frustrated, then we overdrink it. Working hard. What up? It's your boy Scythe. Daily Grind. We are back again with more motivation, more encouragement. And again, I try to bring you guys people who inspire me and hopefully they inspire you. So really big MMA fire coming up on the East Coast. Won a few fights, about to do Madison Square Garden shortly. I mean, when I tell you this kid had determination, I think he started this a few years ago and he's driven. He went to, he found out what he wanted to do and he just went for it. I got my main man, Aaron Powell in the building. What's going What's on, up? bro? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks for having me. So. First off, I know, I know you're gonna start your show. <laughs> I gotta give you this, man. I don't uh, know if anybody gave you a gift before. Not, not, not I'll yet. Be the you first, want me to open it I'll now? Be the first guest. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Look, like I said, this is from okay. the heart. Some fitness gloves. Because I, I want you to come to my gym, man. Okay. I want you to come train. You got a free week off me. Yeah, so. you're going to beat me up. No, 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 we'll go very easy. <laughs> this is one of the things. I want everybody I to try it. it so. All right. We I don't mean, you. I'm kind of free. You got no, no, wins like under said, the belt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go easy. We'll go easy. I just want everybody to try it. So I thanks for having that. me. I definitely, yeah. truly appreciate that. So first and foremost, how are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm happy. You know, I'm doing what I love. So as you see. Indeed. So my first question to you, and I, I, we've talked. I've, been, I've seen you spar. I've been to your, your camp. What was, what put you in the mindset like, yo, I want to do MMA? Uh, man, I've always, I've always had this fighter mentality, uh, but I have to say the pandemic. Okay. Uh, I, I was at a party, actually, with some people that we know, mm -hmm. and I forget who it was, um, uh, but they had spoken to me and said, oh my gosh, it's been seven months since I've seen you. And in that moment, it was like my world just started spinning. Everything, the, you know, the Mr. Krabs meme, yeah. everything was spinning, <laughs> and I was just like, whoa, I need to get out of the house. I need to do something. Okay. That very next, that very next day, I think I started training. I called okay. my boy, who he's he's trained. He was on Israel's national team. I hit him up and I said, "Yo, I need you to bring me to a gym ASAP." He was gonna bring me to one in New York City, but uh, brought me to a gym in Tom's River, and I never left since. Okay, what's the name of the gym that you're at? Uh, SKA, but it's Rhino Fight Team. I fight mm -hmm. for Rhino, as you can see. I'm wearing them. I rep them hard. Rhino now, fight team. when I was there, y'all seemed re really like a family. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you fight together, y'all grapple together. Yeah. And I, I can't say that I understand a lot because I'm a boxing, I come from like a boxing fan. Of course, you got it though. So, <laughs> you got it. Like, even when I'm watching MMA on TV and I'm mm -hmm. watching it, I'm like, I don't know how y'all doing this. And this mm -hmm. is like full out brawling, but I know there's a lot more technique into mm -hmm. it. There's a lot more uh, skills and training. How is it? Is it like a, a, a mindset that you gotta have? when you first start this up, like, okay, I know this is gonna hurt, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to go through it. It's the journey, man, loving it. it. Any fighter that tells you that they were built for this, they're not nervous, like, they, oh, they, just, they just learn the skills naturally, they're lying. Mm. We all, no one likes to get punched in the face. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to get me punched in the face, it's fine though. <laughs> I, like I said, I enjoy the journey, the whole, the whole process of learning a new technique, a new move, a new concept, and understanding that I'm learning this now, but in two weeks time, two months time, two years time, I'm gonna perfect this. I'm gonna be so much better. Mm. That was part of my mindset, um, understanding that I should embrace my emotions rather than 
to right. flee from them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I said, a lot of people think in the sport it's just brutal. You know, that's all we do is fight, punch, kick. But a lot of it is mental. If if I'm not there mentally, yeah. So do you watch MMA on TV or? I do occasionally. I'm I'm not a, as much of a super fan as most people are. Um, that's a question a lot of people like to ask me. Oh, what do you think about this fight coming up? And I'm like, I didn't even know they were fighting. <laughs> I, I, I'm focused on me right now. Yeah. You know, learning my skill. But I I do enjoy watching. Because when you watch it, right? So like for me, I play I like basketball. I watch, okay. play basketball. So. Nice. The plays, I could look at it and be like, yeah, that play's not going to work. Mm-hmm. Do you ever see a box, uh, uh, MMA fighter come out and you like, yeah, he looks like he's not ready? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll never question someone's technique, especially at the higher level, right? I'm still getting there. Um, but it could be the nervousness or their mental. You might see them be a little bit shaky. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're hesitant on the moves, the punches or kicks that they're throwing. Uh, but again, at a certain level... Anybody no. can get knocked out. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so it could be anybody. I'm, yeah. I'm not one of those those um, viewers that watches and thinks like, oh, just get up or just do this, man. I, I I like to watch. Like you said, you're a fan of basketball. Do you really watch LeBron and criticize everything he oh, does, no. or are you just like, I let that man play basketball because <laughs> he's he way LeBron. better than me. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so. I can't say nothing to it. So I, I respect that. You know? What is a lesson that um. MMA has taught you first coming in, like Oof. going into it. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I had actually lost a fight, mm. and I like to I like to use the term or phrase. Uh, I broke myself mentally. I had to. I was I was a little bit of a procrastinator. I won't even say a little bit. I was a procrastinator. Um, so after this loss, this particular loss that I had, uh, I broke myself mentally. Mm-hmm. I prayed to God. One. I need help because I'm procrastinating in life. I actually, it's weird. I was driving past a, uh, a, 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 a graveyard um, and I started to cry mm-hmm. because I knew in that moment that I'm going to die one day. Like we all know this, but sometimes we don't think about it. So I had to, I, I kept telling myself, fight, 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 physically, but also spiritually, mentally. Because if I just go through life, like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll get better tomorrow. You'll never get, you'll never get better. Yeah. So, uh, so telling similar. myself to fight was a, was a big, a big thing. That was a, one of the best lessons I could have learned. Is like, hey, man, you just have to fight hard. You have to train hard every day because tomorrow, tomorrow might be might the day. Be it it yeah. might be the day that someone tries you or something happens. So you never know. We're out of control. You never know. And how? What I tell people, especially when they ask me for advice or. Um, motivation and I say one percent a day if you become one percent better yep, that's that's important every day that's important you're doing the right thing. how many percentages do yeah. I need to go up <laughs> before I get to 10 15 20 do one percent yep I love that one thing so yeah man um so you've, you've learned that uh determination just to keep fighting yep keep fighting is there ever a sense like when you get into the ring and you see the opponent, and you know what you can do. Mm-hmm. And you, you, you've, you've, I'm, I'm imagining you watch them or no? Uh, it's, for the most part, at my level right now, it's it's kind of rare that you can find footage on okay. your opponent. Some people are, are are dumb enough to post their whole <laughs> fight camp on their history um, or on their social media. I'm the type of fighter that I don't like to pay attention to that type of stuff. Okay. I kind of have the mentality that once I know I have a fight, already in my head I go, it's Mike Tyson. I'm fighting Mike Tyson or I'm fighting I- Ivan Drago. So that you puts me, me in a question. You space don't... to train hard. I'm just going to train hard. That's all I can do. But I don't really worry about what they know. That's putting yourself in a bad position. I'm, you're not confident and you're worried about them. Mm. You're not going to perform well. So, so what you, say, you, know, you said earlier, you get mentally, spiritually, and physically ready. Mm-hmm. What does spiritual training look like for you? Ooh, spiritual training for me, trusting God, um, understanding that I, I do enjoy fighting, but I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think that God wanted this for me. Uh, I've been a fighter my whole life, spiritually, mentally. My dad has a, fa- a dream. He li- likes to tell me all the time about, he says maybe I was around five years old. He had this dream that uh, giants were coming towards the house 
and he was you know trying to collect the family everyone get back get back and he just saw me standing in front of the mirror the window like no don't worry dad i got this right um i don't say that to brag it's more about who i am um on the inside like i genuinely feel like that so when it comes to you know being spiritually trained in this and trusting God, again, he says this is for me, mm-hmm. then I have to trust God. Obviously, you know, read up on your Bible, you know, do as much scriptural, biblical reading as I can to back that, right? If I choose to do something that God doesn't want for me, then I'm going to put myself in a bad position. Yeah. And this is one of those sports skills that yeah, I definitely <clears throat> don't want to do that, right? If God told me not to do this, I can get hurt. <laughs> I can get hurt regardless. Yeah, yeah. But being acting like God wants me to do something that I'm, I, I wasn't supposed to, I don't want to put myself in a position. So, so what does it look like when you know, God tells you not to do something? Like, what does that feel like for you? Conviction is one. Um, you know, uh, I, I pray daily mm. about especially martial arts. Um, I don't really second guess it anymore. Like I said, I've been a fighter my whole life. I know that this is for me. Um, but as far as being spiritually trained, I, I, certain things I don't eat, I listen to what the Holy Spirit tells me, right? And, and again, conviction is big, so I might want some pie, or might, might want maybe to just take a day off or something, and it's just like spiritually, I know I need to train myself as much as I train my body, so mm. stuff like that. Um, so you, when you, okay, we did spiritual. When you're training your body, so I remember, you know, I would see you and you was like, yo, I'm, you would do something with your shin. I don't know what it was uh, called. Yeah, I was probably, um, I was banging my shins, training my shins. Um, what is that? Oh, man. Uh, it's in almost like every martial art that re- requires kicking. Um, that was me training myself physically. Uh, I've been doing that for like three or four years now. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear, but I can like, jeez. I can knock on my shins and barely feel it, um, and I'm st- I still have more to go. Uh, yeah, that's really what it is. Is I train my shins to be able to take Any and hit. embrace kicks, give them back. I'm, I am proud of them. I am. I mean, yeah, I, I <laughs> it's would a little be crazy to the outside <laughs> world, but you know, when you when you see me on TV kicking people in their face, you know, yeah. makes makes a weird emotion. <laughs> yeah, shows an emotion. That's that's why I do it. MMA, man, mixed martial arts. That's why I love it. It's a mixture of different martial arts put all together. Well, yeah. I mean, you know? it, it, watching it is, is, for me, I can't do none of it. Like, and that's why You I, can if you want to. I, well, you're trying to get no, me to. Can. Yeah, yeah, we will. We got um, you at least for a week, so. Okay. Uh, but, like, like, as of now, I can't do any of it. But when I watch it, I'm impressed, especially by you. Yeah. I'm impressed Thank by the you. dedication to, like, the... The mental fortitude, like, okay, I'm going to train this. I'm not, do you, like, you have to do this. Like, I'm not good at this. I'm going to work on this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to train with somebody that's really good at it. Mm. It's humbling. It is, isn't it? Very humbling. Yeah, it is. It's the the mentality, man. To go back to basketball, if LeBron showed up right now and said, (laughs) hey, I'll train you how to play basketball, would you let your ego? No, no show itself at the door and say, nah, man, I'm good. I don't need LeBron to teach me anything. Or would you humbly say, oh, absolutely. I would love for you. I feel honored. I'd be like, I'd be honored. You know what I mean? A little old me. That's what I love. That's what I love about our sport, man. You like have to, you have to humble yourself. Mm. Is there a lot of respect between opponents? Um, there better be, (laughs) there better be. Um, if, if my opponent doesn't show me respect or if I don't show my opponent respect, Something's wrong. If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. It is not who we fight against, but what we fight for that is most important. Our biggest opponent, our Goliath, is in almost every instance, simply ourselves.
either I'm too confident or my opponent shouldn't be fighting me or I shouldn't be fighting my opponent, right? The skill level is it's unmatched. It's unmatched. Um, Have you so, ever felt like that? No, uh, especially at this level. Um, everyone's respectful to each other at mm. this level. When you get to the higher, higher levels, that's when ego get involved. Ego gets involved. Some of it's just for pay-per-views, right? Like, who, who doesn't want the money? Um, but, yeah, in this sport, a lot of people, there's respect everywhere. That doesn't mean that there are some disrespectful people, right? Like, there are disrespectful people in everything. Um, but for the most part, it's a mixed martial arts. Martial arts as a community, everyone is respectful. That's, I mean, I appreciate that. That's what I love about that's it. A, that's a good place to be. Mm -hmm. Here's my question. What's up? When you get to the next level... Are you, and I say when because you will be. Appreciate you. Um, are you preparing your mind for what comes with that outside of the ring? Mm. Because then you get distractions, and we talked about, you know, how your faith is a good part of your spirituality, mm -hmm. a big part yeah. of where you are. Are you? Do you think you're mentally prepared to endure the distraction, endure mm. the women, the <laughs> the parties, the Things that'll be like, oh, I don't want to train today. Yeah, I want to go to Las Vegas and. Yeah, that's actually a really good question. I'm I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, that that goes back into what I said. Having faith in God. God told me that this is okay for me to do. I want this for you. Hmm. He's not gonna put me in positions where he's ready to bless me, but I'm not ready to receive it. Hmm. So, as far as you know, women and and the fame. That's, that's not why I chose to fight. So that's not really gonna be my issue. I understand that some people may get to a certain level and think I've made it, now it's time for me to party, but it's actually the opposite. When you, when you know what you're supposed to do and know what God has for you, I'm excited to get there. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna be tested, right? It doesn't mean I'm, I, I'm gonna do everything perfectly, mm -hmm. but in my head, those are easy distractions. You, you know, I, I got a girl now. She's great. She's phenomenal. So if I have her now and we're together now, everything's great. Once I get to a certain level now, I'm going to start treating her badly just True. because I have more options. Or, you know, I'm a humble guy now. Uh, I get to a certain level and I think I'm the best fighter in the world and no one can touch me. And yes, you should have some confidence like that, but... Yeah. <laughs> we, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a very balanced thing. So my favorite player is Kobe Bryant. And well watching him, you know he was he was a uh, mm. he was a problem. He he Wasn't walked in knowing is. he was the best. Yep. But one of the things I most admire about him is he was so self aware. Yeah. Where he knew he was the best. Yeah. But he also trained like he was the worst. Yep. Reality and people be delusional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he really could have just been like, I'm the best. Period. Yeah. But he never did. Like he was the first to go to train in the morning. The last to leave the gym at night. Yeah. And that's all you hear, his, his work yeah. ethic, his work ethic. Do you think that that's the type of work ethic that you're trying to uh, emulate or take, adopt as yeah. a, a mental mantra? Mamba mentality, yeah. right? So as, as, as humble as I am, I want to say, like, part of me feels like I can't. Because it's Kobe. Kobe, <laughs> Kobe. Kobe's Kobe. Like, like you said, he was waking up at the crack of dawn to, to train before the whole team even trained. Mm -hmm. He was the and first. And then train with the team. And, and, exactly. <laughs> so part of me wants to act like, you know, I can't touch that. Mm. But yes, it's in my head to, to strive to, for the Mamba mentality, man. I, I get to the gym an hour early before my class starts. I work out. And then when the guys will start coming in for my class and training, I'm sweating already. Mm -hmm. And then I train with them, and then I stay later to do what I, you know, my, my, my little workout. So, do I think I'm Kobe? No, but do I strive to be? Yes. Okay. You know what I mean? That that Mamba mentality was one of my favorite mentalities for that that yes. video with Kanye. What does that even mean? That's one of my it's favorite Mamba mentality. <laughs> Mamba mentality. Like, That's what I it love is. that. So yeah. What does success look like for you? Mm. That's a deep. That's a deep question. I mean, of course. <laughs> Success to me, on its uh, simplest form, in its simplest form, is doing what you love. Mm. Right. That's the whole point of this podcast: is trying to inspire people to do, or this episode, I should say, inspiring, inspiring people to do what they love. We live once, man. We live one life. 
life. If I don't attack what I want to do, that's being unsuccessful to me, right? Mm. I'm successful not in financials or in family because I don't really, I don't have that yet, right? I, I don't have a million dollars. I don't have my own family. Um, you know, I don't have multiple businesses, but right now I'm doing what I love to do. I'm getting better every day and I, there's a path for me to wind up where I want, which mm. on a you know, grander scheme, that's what uh, people would see as success, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he made it. He's on a big, big level. He's making money and he's famous. That, that, yeah, yeah, that, that is success in itself. But I'm happy doing what I love. I'm getting better every day. I'm mm -hmm. making sure I get, like you said, 1%. I'm making sure every day I'm 1% better. At minimum, I'm happy. And it makes you fulfilled. I'm so fulfilled. That doesn't mean I'm, you know. Well, this, I think people mess that up. And I say this to people all the time. I'm fulfilled. I. Mm -hmm. I love doing this podcast. I love doing my job. I love creating. That, that um, makes me happy. But when we, when we talk about money, we talk about na uh, national acclaim. Mm -hmm. That's just, uh, what do they call it? That is just incidentals. Yeah. It happens because I'm so in love with what I do yep. that it just happens mm -hmm. to come yeah. with the territory. Mm -hmm. And this is, we over. one of my major fears have always been God, I don't want to change because of fame. Mm, I don't one. want to ever get caught up in the views. I don't want to get caught up one. in the, can I get your autographs? I don't want to get caught up in any I don't want to get caught up in none of that. Mm -hmm. I just want to be a servant, one, to God. Mm -hmm. Two, making sure that what I do is fulfilling and purposeful. Because one of my major mantras is I want to leave this earth empty. Mm. I don't want to mm. leave anything undone. So even, you know, we had a situation earlier today where it was uh, somebody, a friend of ours passed. Mm -hmm. and, Rest um, in peace. Can yes. We, can we say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rest, Rest in peace, peace Vanessa. Vanessa. You were the best, literally. Yes. Mad love um, to you. But I was sitting in my chair and your, your dad did an a ovation. Mm. And he was like, they do Broadway and they do ovations. Mm -hmm. And we all stood up and did an ovation for her. Mm -hmm. And I started crying. Mm. Because it was a beautiful moment, mm -hmm. but I started thinking, you know, all the things that I didn't get to say to her, mm. and I just felt like I left it on the table. Not not making it about me, I get it. Not but sure. I was kind of like, I could have mm -hmm. said I appreciate you more. I could have, yeah, you know, visited when I had a little time, but mm -hmm. I, you know, life. Life, yeah, it's and, hard, man. <laughs> And not the down, not put a downer on the podcast. We're going to mm -hmm. come out of this, but this all goes into where we're going in terms of our trajectory. Mm -hmm. What are we putting out there that's changing the world? So, what do you think is something that people can be inspired to, inspire, inspired by, watching you Oof. as you grow, watching you as you move? What do you hope they see? Man, that's that's a lot. I, I uh, years ago realized that that was one of my purposes on Earth was to bless, inspire, and encourage. So I hope in me living my life and me actively pursuing what I want and what God wants for me, I hope that that's enough, mm. right? I hope people just see me living like 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 we're supposed to see how Christ lives, we're supposed to, oh, I wanna be like Christ. Mm -hmm. I hope people look at me and go, it may not be fighting, but you know, maybe I should start baking. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should start this podcast. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should be a better person. <laughs> like, it's simply that. Just a little you know? better person. That's it. I, so again, I just hope people look at me and, and see the happiness I have in, in what I'm doing, right? Whether it be, you know, music or martial arts or just being a loving brother, friend, right, son, all these things. I hope that people see that and just want better for themselves. Well, I see it personally. He's a man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I see it personally, and that's just from knowing you for years now. And it was odd, which, not even odd, what's interesting is I'm a watcher. Mm -hmm. I'm an observing person. That's all I do. You're, you're quiet. <laughs> so I'll see you doing what you do. And... I watch your interest level of things. I watch you observe. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have a good heart because you're very careful in what you say and how you say it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I cherish that because 
I think the idle words mm. are what destroy most people. Mm -hmm. Like, I won't say I love you to a person if I don't mean it. I won't. <laughs> yes, yes. You know what I mean? That's I, an important one. <laughs> yeah. I won't, you know, down somebody yeah. out of anger. And I, I noticed yeah. that out of you, you won't just mm -hmm. move off an of impulse with stuff. But when you do move, you move with such a decisiveness that it's mm -hmm. impressive because I admire that. I admire that mentality. Like, this is what I'm going to do, and there's nothing else. Wow. Thank you. That's me trying. <laughs> so I appreciate but, it. <laughs> That's one percent, yeah. You trying exactly, that one yeah. percent? You you. I'm gonna do this, and mm -hmm. you do it. When you started, uh, you know, when people tell you all the time, I'm gonna do MMA. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you didn't do that. I'm gonna do MMA. You just said nothing. Mm -hmm. You just <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah, come to the gym. I'm at the. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I'm doing okay. Yeah. And I think that's inspiring. Who inspires you? Oof. In in, in life. And like, I mean, and I don't, when people think who inspires you, they think they got to talk about yeah. their field. I have yeah. inspirations that have nothing to do with what I do. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. That's a, I, I like how you put that because uh, I almost wanted to try and specify maybe one person or maybe even one person in my field. But I get inspiration from people. I genuinely do. I'm not even trying to make this deep. Make it deep. I look, right? I look, <laughs> I look at people and on both sides, I like, I like maybe this aspect of this person's life, mm. but I hate the other side, right? Uh, I love this person's life. Doesn't mean I want to be them. It's just you've inspired me to be great in my own thing. Mm. Um, I get inspired by sometimes maybe it's people's financials. Wow, this guy seems to have a lot of money. He looks wealthy and happy. It looks like it. Or this person doesn't have any money, but they're extremely happy. They have a family. That's inspiring to me. So mm. the cer certain things I do in life, I'm like building my own life, right? I want to be happy in family and finances and relationships. So let me build that daily, 1%. That's, I get inspired by everything oh, from yeah. art to life, you know, people. Mm. Like my, what inspires me is the underdog. I love an underdog oh, story. Oh, yeah. That should have <laughs> been my answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love an underdog story with people counting them out. I do. I get emotional. I can watch a movie. And it, I'll watch a million, Quickly, movie a like, billion times. I'm saying they're like, nah, I was rubbing my eyes. I knew he like, could do it. That's <laughs> <laughs> the hair he on it here, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's what like underdogs. Like if you just if you just show me yeah. you're willing to go. I feel like an underdog, so I get that, you know. Yeah? Why do you make you feel like an underdog? Why do I feel like an underdog? Ah man, I'm a I'll be honest. Pastor's kid. Light skin, the only boy, two sisters. I genuinely <laughs> remember having to make myself more of a uh, a tough guy, if that makes sense. Yes, you thought you had always, to overcompensate. I've all, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've always been nice. I, I I forget what age that was, but let's say middle school. I was in middle school when I was like, man. Not that people ever bullied me or walked or walked on me. It was more of like, I have to protect my sisters. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grow up and be a man one day, and it's like, I, who's going to fight for me? Myself, right? Mm -hmm. Besides God, I, I need to now walk into this space phase era where people look at me as a young man. Don't mess with him. Doesn't mean I have to be mean or rude no. to people. It's just like, that, that's, that's the, almost the point that I love, is that I'm, I try to be as nice as I can be so people look at me like that, but they also know. Mm -hmm. Respect that. It's a, it's a silent aggression. Like. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm choosing not to beat you up. <laughs> it's not that I can't mm -hmm. do it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, I'm choosing to like you right now. My boy said it best in a in a video. He's like, "You would be fun. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to fight people that would be fun. Mm -hmm. I like a challenge." So, yeah, well, what are we doing? Yeah, exactly. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. No I like that, man. Um, you got a fight coming up? Yes. Where are we where are we fighting? October fourth, Madison Square Garden. It's big, man. I'm excited. It's a title fight. Uh, What's the title? Title is the belt. You know I'm saying. Well, what, what is the title? I'm not even sure. This is my first time fighting for this promotion. Um, kind of going into what we said earlier. I don't. Yeah. I don't like to. When I find out I have an opponent, some people like to look up their opponent. I don't. Uh, I don't want to psych myself out. I'm not worried about what he knows, what he doesn't know. 
He's ready for it. I just, I tell myself already I'm fighting Mike Tyson, a young Mike Tyson, right? <laughs> I'm fighting Ivan Drago, a fictional character who was just monstrous. Mm. So I train hard for that. And then when I get in the ring and I know this. not that. <laughs> oh, you're not that. This isn't that bad, you know? Okay. That's, that's how I view it. So. so when is it again? October 4th, Madison Square Garden, around 5 o'clock, I think doors open. Where can I get tickets? Uh, you can hit me up, slide in my DMs. Uh, I got tickets, first come, first serve though. So make sure it's quick. I don't know when this video is going to be out. Before but that. It'll be out before that. Yeah, hit me up <laughs> uh, through social media. Instagram is probably best. Okay, yeah. I'm going to make sure your link is in the thing. You're on it, man. So. You're on it. <laughs> so you You're can on. get. I appreciate your time. Is there any word of encouragement that you want to share before we head out? Any word of encouragement? Yeah, man. Do, do what's been pulling on your heart. We all, you know, we're human. We all have that desire. Something's pulling on your heart. You know, it might be the arts. It might be something physical like what I do, MMA, martial arts. Just do it, man. Just do it. I'm not going to name names, but we were just talking about him earlier. One of the, what you can call him an influencer. Uh, he just tells people to post content daily. Just keep posting well, you can content. Say name. I don't care. Um, Gary Vee, right? Yeah. yeah that's it. He's, Post, just keep posting content. Consist consistency is key, man. So whatever's pulling on your heart, just start. Start there. Just start. 1% every day. Just do it. Again, thank you for sitting no, down with you. me. Thank you. Talking and giving your time and your story and, you know, all the things that you you got going on. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. And I can't wait to, I'm flying out to Vegas and flying out to mm -hmm. California. Just, but hey... Mind I'm about Japan. to come to the game. <laughs> yeah. I want to come to the fight. Uh, <laughs> just let me know when you start. Yeah, I got you. You'll definitely be backstage, man. I appreciate you. I don't you. even need to be. I just want to be there to support you. I, I got you. I'll I be got in you. the bleach or nosebleed. But <laughs> yeah, I know we him. We won't have you in there. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> we, won't, we won't have you in the nosebleeds, man. <laughs> but, uh, of course, this is Daily Grind. I am Saif. I hope you were motivated and encouraged by what you heard today. Like you said, get to it. Start doing your thing. Get on your grind. This is what we do here, as always. Love y'all. Peace. Yeah. 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 Y'all ready to rock?